guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me that we're hanging out again and spending this time together. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some recent thrift finds that I'm so excited about. I, as you guys know, have been forming a new relationship with shopping, especially thrifting, because things are relatively cheap. It's easy just to get a bunch of different things because they look good. But my main criteria is two questions that I ask myself. One is, will this piece help me embody the energy and the different things that I'm moving into and want to achieve in the next few weeks? And two, will I regret leaving the store without this piece? And that just really helps me shop more selectively and buy things that are um, have a lot of intention behind them and that I know I'll get a lot of wear out of. Slow fashion is something that I really like to participate in, so I just like to make sure that I can buy things that are versatile and that I can wear a lot for a lot of different things and that feel good when I put them on because I do think that clothes carry energy. So yeah, it's summertime. This is a summer haul. I've been really liking silky, colorful, beautiful patterns mesh and see-through pieces just to show a little bit of extra skin and um, I feel so good this summer. In the past I've had not good experiences during the summer which has made it feel like triggering or like the warmth brings these like memories but this summer I'm really writing that story and I feel so good. So I'm just trying to embody the lightness and I feel just really like sexually connected to myself and I feel like I'm embodying that too and just being comfortable in my skin. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm actually gonna start off with a pair of shorts that I got for my clothing swap, which was in the colder months. I forget what month it was, but I got these embroidered shorts, which are by Free People, and these are one of two pair of shorts that I own. I don't wear shorts a lot. These just have a really dope embroidery, and I just think that they look so rad. I like how they're kind of faded. They're just a nice staple black short, but with a little bit of extra detail. And I don't like my thighs touching the subway seat, so when I wear shorts, I put a scarf down before I sit down because I'm just kind of a germaphobe in that way. But these ones, I'm excited about wearing. The next shirt I got from a by the pound thrift shop, which it's $12.99 for a whole pound of clothes. If you get light tops like this, it's obviously really worth it. But I just found one top there and this was four bucks and it's just a nice yellow button down, really nice material. It has some floral pattern on it and I just really like how thin it is. I really love and appreciate tops like this because I can you know cover up and still be pretty cool in the summertime if I'm wearing let's say a top like this if I'm going home late at night I'll throw this on just to cover myself up a little bit and then once I arrive at the turn up function or whatever it is I can take it off and wrap it around my waist or just stuff it in my bag and that's just a little New York City life hack for me I wore this to a picnic so I'll insert some photos here I just thought it was really cute and breezy looking and kind of magical I love this and I've been loving yellow this next Next piece I got from Beacon's Closet and it's this dress which uh, definitely seems handmade because of the seams inside but it has so much beautiful details. I love this design on the sleeves. It's like poofy, it has some ruching and it's just really interesting. I love the two little buttons and then it has this elastic in the middle which really just hugs my uh, stomach I guess and creates that little hourglass effect and the skirt is also really short which I love really short skirts and mini skirts not only are they sexy but I think they're really flattering and they make your legs look bigger so I just really like that so cute and then the back has this tail, which I've never seen before. I don't know if this was like an employee outfit at some resort because there's some letters on the side, but I can't make out what they say. But yeah, there's this little <laughs> tail at the back, which is useful for me because like I said, I don't like my thighs touching the subway seat. So this is long enough that like it protects my thighs from the subway seat. It's so sweet. I just want to... Uh, be tender and delicate and soft with myself when I wear this dress. I love the yellow. It makes me so happy. So this is something that I'll definitely be wearing for the rest of the summer. And I just love dresses because you can just throw them on and run errands, which is what I usually do. And I just like to wear clothes that make me feel like I could be living in a fairy tale. I could enter another portal somewhere and just be in the world of Alice in Wonderland. I don't know. These next few pieces I got sent from Olivia. I will have her shop linked 
link down below. She sent me a letter and she just emailed me and um, I gave her my P.O. box. So I'll actually have my P.O. box in my description. I don't normally put it out there because I feel bad that I can't always write back to you. So yeah, I will link my P.O. box if you feel called to send me something, but definitely don't feel obligated to. And I really appreciate it if you did take the time. So Olivia sent me some really rad pieces and she obviously has an amazing taste and really knows me very well. So the first thing are these loose silky pants, which I thought were going to be really big on me, but I think they're the perfect amount of baggy. And they're polyester and cotton but they have a kind of silky sheen to them it's a really subtle little design but I just think that these look kind of bougie like really nice comfortable PJs but I've been wearing them out and about I have a mint top that matches this really well so I've just been wearing a monochrome outfit and I really want to get some like thick white chunky sneakers to wear with these I really like them and they're very comfortable I've been wearing them outdoors and indoors and just feeling really cute and the next thing that she gave me was actually for my boyfriend this is extremely oversized on both of us but i love wearing this as a dress it looks really cute just around the house with some lacy underwear but also out and about i really like this with my straw hat and also on the beach with a white bikini. I love the neckline of this and the color. It's a really nice, more limey yellow, and it just makes me feel like I'm gonna go on a safari or something. It's just a perfect little breezy top. So thank you so much, Olivia. And the last thing that she gave me was this amazing scarf, which is a nice see-through mesh, and I love the flowers on it. And I've been wearing this as a tube top with my little lacy vintage bra as a headband. As a hair tie, it's also really cute and you just let the side hang down. So I'm pretty much obsessed with scarves. I always have been. And if you wanna see different ways to wear scarves, you can check out my scarf styling video, which I will have linked down below. I'm so grateful. I pretty much wear bras all the time because my boobs are heavy, but I've seen so many girls lately just rocking mesh clothing without any undergarments on and I think it looks so rad. I seriously get so inspired and empowered by seeing other women just decorate their bodies so beautifully and creatively and I want to keep doing that myself and sharing that with you guys. All the next few things I got from Beacon's Closet. So I got this matching two-piece set which let me just figure this out really quick. Okay so the first thing is this top and this is by the designer Connie Rizza and it has this really colorful beautiful print on it. It kind of reminds me of Venezuela or some Latin artist. And then it came with this matching skirt. Really, really love it. I feel like I could wear this in front of my grandma and she would approve. I feel like this is classy yet really fun. And I want to wear this to a botanical garden and have a little photo shoot there with it. Kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, the original cartoon version when she goes into that garden and all the flowers are talking. I got this amazing see-through top. I feel like I've been so blessed with all of these mesh and see-through pieces. This reminds me of the Unif tops that have a dragon on them. I'll insert a picture of it here. They're like 80 bucks. I just can't bring myself to spend that much on one shirt. And so I was really happy when I found this. I think it was like $5. And I think the color is really flattering on my skin tone. I think this will look really cute with a black cami dress over it because it is so thin it's gonna be great for layering and i got this denim dress which is really nice it's super frayed at the bottom because i put it in the dryer but it just kind of reminds me of a smock like it's just one big piece of denim with straps basically but this is also really nice for layering wearing t-shirts underneath a scarf around your head if i had clogs i feel like that would fuck this outfit up love a good piece of denim man i don't have enough denim and I really appreciate this. My legs are literally falling asleep right now, so I have to readjust. Okay, the next I got these heels, and they're also from Beacon's Closet. I think these are so rad. I've never seen heels like this before. They have a really chunky heel, which makes them really comfortable and durable, and I just feel really stable with them. And they have this lovely fringe in the front, and then these little dangly, fringy pieces on the side with the strap. I love heels that are strappy. I feel like they make your legs look really sexy and much more stable to wear a heel for a long time. I think that these will look great and super chic with some flared trousers and with dresses and pretty much anything. And the brand of these is Suno. The last thing from Beacons I am so excited about. I 
Love these pants so much. They're a pair of plaid trousers. Look at the color. First of all, the color of these is amazing. I haven't seen plaid pants with this color ever. They have a nice kind of silky liner inside and they zip up on the side of the pant, which is really nice. And they're just the perfect length. They're really flattering to the booty. I mean, I just can't believe how well these fit. Like, shout out to the person who dropped these off at Beacon's Closet because I am in love. And the label is actually sewn into the fabric. So I think that these are vintage. They're really in great condition and such a good piece. I can't wait to wear these all fall. And I feel like I could even get away with wearing them now. It hasn't been a super hot New York summer. I might even be able to mix patterns with this top and really go for it but that's all for the clothes and now on to the books I got this journal it says you're gonna make it after all it's in this nice felt material and it has rose gold spiraling the pages are really big and I like that because then there's such a big surface area for you to write and like lay down your wrist and that is so nice and comfortable to write especially when I'm laying down in bed which is when I love to write at the end of the day or at the beginning of the morning I just like to write some of my thoughts down and my feelings and do it in kind of a poetic way. I get a lot of questions about how to get inspired and motivated to write and my main thing is just to um, make it kind of poetic. Even if you're just talking about your day, you can really drop into the senses and the colors and the smells and all those little details really tell a story and that's how I like to write is just to tell a story and have the story unfold through the senses, make it kind of magical or mysterious or really dramatic. Like when I'm talking about when I'm sad, I go all for it. Like I really am dramatic in my writing sometimes when I'm sad and it's really fun and pleasurable and such a good release. And I also got this butterfly poster right here. It's actually a tea towel and this is from, um, Burke and Reynolds, which is a really nice homeware store on Manhattan Ave. It's one of my favorites. It's some of the things there are really pricey, but I love just walking around in that store because it's so inspiring and they just have really amazing homeware pieces. Oh, I just realized I forgot to talk about this ballerina skirt. It's just a mesh see-through wrap skirt that I got from Beacon's Closet and it just wraps around and I am obsessed with this. It's short and is really nice for cinching in the waist. I'll insert a picture here from this movie called Itu Mama which I just watched on Netflix and there's the scene where the woman at the end has a nice little wrap around her bikini and that's why I got so excited when I saw this to kind of recreate that. And I can't wait to dance in this. I really love dancing even though I don't think technically I'm good at it, but it's just fun to move your hips, move your energy around. And it's also a really great way to shake out stagnant energy in the body. If you do feel like you're stuck energetically, it's really, really a nice practice to just shake, to just shake your whole body and jump up and down. And it really does make a difference. And then you can also visualize yourself shaking out the energy. Um, which is why I like to dance every morning. My morning routine is so precious to me. And the last thing is a book that my wonderful new friend, Maya Mann, let me borrow. And this is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The Japanese are of decluttering and organizing. I really love reading anything that's Japanese or Venezuelan, anything that is by someone of my same cultural background. It just kind of excites me and I feel like that's a way to be more accepting of my own culture and my roots and I know that's kind of random and deep for a book that's just about a Japanese woman, but literally even seeing Japanese or Asian women on the subway, I just smile at them and I feel this like connection to them in some way, some understanding. And same thing with like Venezuelan or Hispanic people. I love getting to practice my Spanish. That's a really great way for me to embrace my culture more and listening to Latin music, listening to Japanese music. It's really fun. So I just get kind of excited when I'm like, oh, this is by a Japanese woman. And basically it's the art of tidying up. And this is a New York Times bestseller. Everyone in Maya's family has read this. I'm only on the 28th page, but so far I I already feel like it's shifting my life so if you really struggle with a cluttered messy mess then maybe this will be a good book for you I feel like I'm really good at cleaning but I relapse you know like I'll clean amazingly for a week and keep everything super tidy do all my laundry fold it perfectly the folds will line up it's color-coded it's great but then 
two weeks in it's a complete mess and there is a clothing avalanche which is the case right now i feel like my prime like when i'm doing well and i'm feeling happy my stuff is really super clean i think this book will just help me maintain that being productive in general just really helps me with depression and anxiety and all these things it's just like one less thing to be piling up I'm so excited to get into this i'm so grateful for the book gift. I love getting gifted books because there are just so many options out there. So the main way that I find good books is through word of mouth and I'm just really grateful to receive, you know, a wonderful piece of literature. I think it's one of the best gifts that we can give each other it is something that will impact our life and change the quality of it. But that is it for this haul. It's been really rambly, but thank you guys so much for watching and for being, for being on your own spiritual journeys. I truly honor you and I really cherish you. Thank you for being here and supporting me and and if you ever see me in person, please say hello. I love meeting you. That is all. Thank you guys so much. Like this video if you liked it or if it inspired you. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you guys in my next video. And until then, just keep finding the peace, embodying the peace, and spreading the peace. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye.